I'm going to add a token here that I can't find in the Trezor Suite. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So I'm going to click here on the Ethereum section. And if you see here on the top right hand side where the three dots are, I can click add a token. If I just go to Google and I type Trezor supported coins, I'll find this page here, which shows all the coins that Trezor Suite supports. And you can see here on the right side where it says ERC20 that these coins will be supported on the Trezor Suite. I'm actually gonna go ahead and add this particular token that I've got called Hollow Token, and I'm gonna add that into my Trezor Suite. I'm gonna go here to another website called Etherscan. And on Etherscan, I just have to type Hollow and I've got the option here, Hollow Token. And the contract address is the one that I'm going to copy here. And I'm going to paste that here. So this is the address of the Hollow Token. And I'm going to click Add Token. So now when I go here to Tokens, we can see that I've got two tokens here, the Engine Token and the Hollow Token. So now I can click receive ETH and I can copy this address over here. And I'm gonna copy the receiving address. Now I'm gonna to come to my Binance account. I'm gonna to go to my Fiat in spot. And I'm gonna look for my holo token, which is over here. And I'm gonna go withdraw. And I'm gonna paste the Ethereum address, the ERC20 address. And I can click withdraw. This is basically how you can add a non-native token into your Trezor Suite. If you want to learn more about trading crypto, I'll leave a link in the description.